Welcome to ASFIG TV's coverage of the under-20 events at the 2012 Australian Cross Country Championships from Oakbank Racecourse in South Australia. In the women's 6km race, it was Western Australia's Kate Fitzsimons who headed a breakaway group of four through the early stages, with South Australia's Tamsin McMahon, Jenny Blundell of New South Wales and 14-year-old New Zealander Cara McDermott all in tow. Approaching the halfway mark, it was McDermott who looked to be faring the best through the mud as she took control of the pace in the breakaway group. With McDermott out uh, um, of the Australian medal, uh, Samson McMahon is the medal prospect. It was over the back half of the second of two three kilometre laps that the decisive move came as McDermott stretched out from Fitzsimons, who in turn moved clear of Blundell. As McDermott continued to move clear over the closing stages, however, Blundell clawed back the gap to move into second and into Australian title contention. In the end, it was a comprehensive win to McDermott, who ran on to stop the clock at 24 minutes and 27 seconds. Blundell claimed the Australian crown in 24 minutes 39 seconds. With Fitzsimons running on to take second, and McMahon rounding out the podium. Continuing the strong front end presence from across the Tasman, Ashley Williams and Georgie Gregich ran on for fifth and sixth overall, with Charlotte Iman not far behind as the first Victorian home. Uh, the mud made it real hard, so it was just like hard the whole way. And. Uh... Did you run the Oceania Championships two weeks ago, which looked almost as muddy in New Zealand? Yeah, and I won the under-19s there, so it was real muddy as well. And uh, what are your plans for summer? Are you going to run some more road races? Will you run some track races? Uh, I'm going to try go to the World Cross Country in March next year, which will be good. And I'll do lots of training for that and then do some track races as well. Congratulations Jenny, how did you find the mud? You're covered in it. Well, I just tried my best, like there was a pack of us so I just had to dig deep and then really make my way up the hill and yeah I think I did that well so I think yeah that was good. And did the mud change how you raced or did it, do you set out with the same tactic as you would in a dry race? Um, it was completely different, like I usually do a lot of front running so I just tucked in behind them and just went their pace and then, yeah, passed them in the end. And New Zealand well represented across the board as we turn now to our top 10 results in the under 20 women's 6km cross country championship. With Blundell heading a winning New South Wales outfit in the team's division. And the black and white theme at the front of the field continued in the under-20 men's 8km event through 2011 winner Declan Wilson and Matthew Baxter, who combined with Western Australia's Brandon Hargraves and pre-race favourite Patrick Tiernan to form a breakaway through the early stages. Appears to be a Western Australian up there, we'll get a check though. Approaching halfway, it was Tiernan who began to stretch clear, with Wilson back in second attempting to shake his rivals. As Tiernan continued to extend his lead, it was Wilson and Hargraves now locked in battle for second as they moved clear of Baxter, before Wilson in turn surged ahead in pursuit of Tiernan. It was a case of too little too late though, as with a nod to his Queensland supporters, Tiernan ran on for an emphatic victory 
stopping the clock in 27 minutes 39 seconds. Wilson held out for second from silver medalist Hargraves and countryman Baxter, with Rue Reed McDonald of New South Wales rounding out the podium placings as the third Australian home. How did you expect the competition to be? Yeah, well, I expected it to be pretty good. I mean, you never come into these championships um, expecting like bad competition, I guess. So you just got to prepare for every sort of situation that um, that the race will give you. And yeah, that's what I did leading up to it. So. And there was a good contingent of New Zealanders in the race. Did that change the the complexion of the race in any way? Um, not really. I mean, um, I'd, I'd raced Declan before, who was the boy who got second. Um, so. I knew the New Zealand team would have a; they'd be really strong. So I just had to just had to run my own race, I guess. So. And you snuck off the front about halfway through. Was that the plan? Did that what you had in your head that you wanted to put a big surge in the middle? Yeah. Well, I I figured I'd stick with the group for the first first lap at least, um, and then just see how I was feeling after that. Because just because the course was so boggy, there was no, not going to be a real chance to finish strongly at all. So I guess it was just a, more so a race of getting out in front early and trying to hold it. So. New Zealand again a dominant presence as we look now at our top 10 results in the under 20 men's 8km cross country championship. On the team's division we see it's Tinan's Queensland outfit taking gold from New South Wales and Victoria. Sure to tune in to Asvic TV's coverage of all Athletics Australia events, the 2012 Australian Cross Country Championships, and keep watching for all the latest from across the tracks.